What's up everybody, 3D Pathfinder here. So, the table, or whatever you have your printers sitting on, can play a role in the quality of prints that you can get from your printers, especially when you're dealing with these type, which are called bed slingers. As you can see, the head moves this way and up and down, and the bed moves forward and back. Combining those two motions allows you to get all the intricate movements that you need in order to make whatever you're making. Now, this is not optimum. This is an inexpensive, probably 40 something dollar, I think, um, collapsible fold up table that you can find on Amazon and stuff like that. It's meant to be easily transported, taken around, I guess, if you were going to set up at a uh, um, you know, like a flea market or other type where you needed a, an easy table, that's where this comes in. Now, it's not great for what I'm using it for, but I'm about maxed out on space, and I've got things sitting everywhere. That table is an old version of this table, and it is dipping in the center, so that's why I don't have any printers on that. Um, but you can improve that pretty much any table can be improved by putting a very solid base for your printer to sit on so as you can see I have these two blocks these are pavers that you can get at any home improvement store this is a very large one as you can see I think this is um, 24 inch uh, square I believe this thing probably weighs, it, it weighs at least 75 pounds, I think, solid concrete. Um, and then these are two 12-inch paver stones, okay? So, just adding this, it adds a lot of weight, and it helps to counteract the momentum and oscillations that you can get from your bed slingers as they're moving in and out and all that it still has some movement as you can see there's a little bit of wobble but it is drastically reduced by essentially adding this much weight to the top of this i have probably around 100 pounds sitting on the top of this table and yeah the the table can handle this rating so i'm not too worried about that but this Ultimately, this table will be replaced. I'm probably going to build a um, just a very simple wood table out of either some 2x4s or 2x6s or, or even 6x6 six six legs and then a piece of a half inch or three quarter inch plywood on top um, and embrace it, make it very rigid so that it would help. And I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger because... I'm, if I get any, I'm, I'm maxed out. I have that sitting on a printer cart, um, is what that is. That's sitting on a little foldable side table, almost like a dinner tray table. This is just a long 55-inch uh, desk-style uh, table, similar to the one that my computer's on. And it's, it's fairly rigid. It's all metal and then got a composite top. Um... And it can handle the weight. Sorry about the mess. I'm I'm packed in here. <laughs> uh, I'm not terribly organized, but uh, as you can see, I have a passion here. But anyway, just just wanted to touch on that quickly. That um, if you're not able to get a fairly heavy or extremely sturdy um, surface in order to set your printer on, well, you can use these. Uh, these paver stones to help uh, counteract some of the vibration and movement that you get from your printers so there you go thank you